In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to beat the cover two defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. And if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and every single day we upload videos that can help you get better on offense and on defense in this game. Alright guys, so what we're talking about today is how you can beat a 30 yard cloud flat, especially if your opponent is kind of really running a lot of cover two style, Tampa two style of defense. Now, um, what we want to do is we want to come out in this play four verticals or verticals from the trips tight end. If you have not already picked up my trips tight end offensive guide, uh, I would encourage you to sign up for our Patreon, our true fan membership and get our trips tight end offensive meta update. It's a two hour video in there. You get all of the videos that we post in there, which every single week is an offensive meta update a defensive meta update and a pro player film study. But what, I, what I'm getting at here is we posted a two hour offensive meta update to the trips tight end scheme to kind of update everything about it. And so if you wanna get access to that, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. You can sign up for the, the membership for just five bucks a month, very cheap. And you get three new videos every single week, 12 new videos every single month. And these are super, super high level and very in-depth videos. But anyways, let's talk about this play verticals here. And first things first, I want to talk about just a standard cover two. Like they just come out and they run cover two. And what they do is they maybe do something, you know, offensively like or defensively do something like this where they just simply run, you know, we're going to run Tampa two and we're going to run it this way. OK, if they run it this way right here, you can just literally hike the ball and you're just going to pass lead to the left. This square receiver once he clears the curl flat, as you can see, it's a very simple and very easy read. Now, I wanna talk specifically though about situations that will come up where people that are experienced at that and they've been running Tampa 2 as their base defense for most of the year, what they'll actually do is they will move this corner out here. And what you would think is that you could hit this, um, you could hit this seam right here, a triangle. And you'd be right, you can low ball this seam right there and that can be an easy read for you against that cover two. The problem is what is gonna happen and this is also why Gunslinger um, is such an important element of the defense, is they could do something like this right here where they move this guy out. They um, And then, of course, you know, obviously you've got this guy here. They can maybe put him in a yellow. Um, so he's going to kind of rise up with him, kind of take that passing lane away. And what you're going to notice is now you're going to see this window is pretty tight. <laughs> it becomes pretty tight um, the more that you try to push it, push it into the um, into the ball there. So another thing that you can do if they're running standard cover two and they're not move and they're and they're maybe maybe they only move this guy this way right maybe they only do that adjustment, then the another way that you can beat cover two is through this motion over of the triangle receiver. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna streak your tight end, you're gonna motion over your triangle receiver here, and what you're gonna see is basically this is gonna be a nice little outside sideline pass lead right there, as you can see, very simple and it beats the cover two. But the best players that run cover two are gonna understand all of these different types of seam reads that you might have. And so they're gonna kind of overplay it. They're gonna move this guy to the outside. They're gonna manually move these safeties out. You know, maybe they do something like, you know, like this, what we talked about where we have, you know, pretty high level of like, you know, numbers coverage and stuff like that. Really trying to, you know, kind of really guide this cover two into being a really solid defense. Again, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna not say that if you simply just hit this triangle receiver right there, low ball inside, um, you have to be careful because of stuff like that. That's where I'm talking about that passing lane, passing lane, um, windows of opportunity. Those are things that most people don't really understand when they're talking about building a passing offense. You have to have space to throw these routes and you have to get them open. And so one of the ways that we can do that, um, now if we see this, if we see this offense, you know, or this defense a lot, another little thing that we can do um, to open up a passing lane um, is to go ahead and streak the circle receiver and then to simply take this uh, square receiver and we could put him on a smoke screen. Um, this is going to really pull these underneath zones at him. But as you can see, I mean, it's just tight. It's just tight. You have to low ball it to get underneath that zone. And that's where I'm kind of getting at. So what do we do? Well, the first thing that I like to do to do um, to attack this coverage is I actually like to run my trips tight end to the short side of the field. And the reason why is because we're going to create a 
really kind of a really nice vertical passing concept on the on the backside. Um, and again, this is if he likes to do this, you know. Um, typically, this is where they're going to move him. They're going to move him to about the numbers, and they're going to have it basically just set up like this right here. And so what I like to do is actually run my trips to the short side because I want to take advantage of this motion over route to, to triangle. So we're going to streak tight end. We're going to streak the circle receiver. I typically would just leave the back on his route. You could also put him on an option route. And what we're going to do is once our receiver hits the numbers, we're going to snap it. And this is going to give us a lot of time for that deep half to get sucked to the middle of the field. And as you can see, we're able to hit that on the sideline. So very simple, but very, very effective. Now, what you're going to notice is let's say we try to do that same concept, but we're trying to do it with our trips to the wide side. The biggest problem with this that we're going to see is there's not as much space for that route to angle itself to the sideline and so we're not going to be able to hit it let me show what i'm talking about so if i do this set this defense up just like so we're really overplaying heavy on that trip side you're going to see that's you know the, the the cover two is going to really do a good job here so i'm going to snap him right here at the numbers again and what you're going to see is if you have you know it, it with with the 99 zone and mutt and with the tightness of that window it's really really hard to um it's, it's really really hard to uh, get it to get it to roll so again let me show you this one more time short side trips I'm gonna motion over the triangle receiver just like so and I want you just to see we're gonna snap right at the numbers again and you're gonna see right there see that right there that's the problem that's the problem with short side or um, running your trips to the wide side when you're trying to run this combination is you, you're, you're literally gonna run yourself out of room um, you're, you're literally going to run yourself out of room. Now, one thing you can try if you're trying to get this combination to work and you really want to kind of stick with the principle that trips tight end is typically ran best to the with your trips to the wide side of the field. What you can do is you can get this guy all the way out there. So let me show you, just get him all the way out here just like this. And you can, there's a small window, but again, you see, because they're moving this guy outside, it is a really, really hard window to hit just because they take that extra step. So that's why I came up with this idea of just running this to the short side. And this is a really simple way to take care of this. This is a good defense. You'll see this, um, the better the players that you play, the more you're gonna see something like this. The reason why is because it's really safe. Um, this is a really safe coverage. It's really difficult for um, the defense to just be able to properly cover this. Now let me show you this one more time. We're gonna streak everybody up the seam, but now we've got a lot more room for this triangle route to work. And you'll see when we cut him over here, now he's got all this room on the right, even when they motion him out, because that deep half is gonna naturally suck back to that vertical route. And we're gonna be able to complete that, whether they have 99 zone or not, whether we have gunsling or not, that's gonna be a simple and very effective read. So anyways, I wanna thank you for watching this video. And if you wanna get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, you can get that in the description for just, 50, or for just 10 bucks. Or if you wanna just get the offensive meta update that I just posted, where we post videos every single week, uh, three videos a week, 12 videos a month, be sure to sign up for that true fan membership, really, really high level Madden stuff that we talk about over there. Um, so be sure to sign up for that. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.